And you see at the hatchway the uh, four departing Crew 9 crew members posing for some final photos. Final handshakes and hugs between uh, the departing Crew 9 crew members and uh, the crew members who will remain on board the International Space Station, maintaining a continuous human presence on the orbital laboratory that began on November 2nd, 2000. From now, you saw the uh, crew nine, two of the crew nine crew members, uh, Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, already in their entry suits. Okay, copy. We are go for closing the uh, APUS hatch, and I have one question for you. Go ahead. Another view of the crew aboard uh, Dragon Freedom looking. Uh, there is a one SpaceX bag, it's labeled as unarmed PF. The crew closing their visors in advance of uh, the individual leak checks on their suits. Crew 9 crew strapped into their seats and good leak checks for their suits on the uh, Dragon Freedom. We'll sign off for now and we'll be back with you just over an hour from now for our undocking coverage. For now, we'll sign off. This is Mission Control Houston. So right now what we're doing on board Dragon is preparing for that undocking sequence to be commanded. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Heartburn Wilmore begin their belated trip Dragon home. Separation confirmed. Undocking <laughs> occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time, 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Good motion, good stability on Dragon as it backs away. Freedom, SpaceX on the big loop, depart burn zero nominal. Good opening rate reported by the visiting vehicle officer. And this is back. I wish we could have, we could spend more time with you guys, but uh, many people who love you and uh, whom you love are waiting for you. So safe travel, Godspeed. A view of Dragon from the International Space Station now quite a bit smaller than when we just saw a few minutes ago.